Hello, Dr. Brad. Hi, hello, Kurt. My we meet again with what's, dirty coffee cups. Let's see. This side looks okay. Yeah. I'll show the other side though, because it's got all sorts of. I understand. I'm like a little. I'll do that too. Like. Yeah. I'll show the show the good side. Show the people the, the good. <laughs> side. All right. So today is Wednesday, April seventeenth. Brad's been kind enough to uh, make some time during the week to have an additional conversation this week as we try to finish the embodiment section. Although I'm not sure what we're going to call it. Right. I do like embodiment, but um, uh, there might be something, some other title we have for it. It's existence. Uh, it's existence. Existence. Yes. Well, I mean, we're we're saying we're saying existence is persistence in the physical world. So when we talk about embodiment, we're talking not we're not talking about just existence, but we're talking about experience. Yeah. Experience is corrupt and constructed from the right. from the so. So I like embodiment because it does tell us, um, it does tell us, it does, uh, it's the closest thing I can find to the, what we're meaning we're trying to get across, which is that uh, your body is a system of measurement, which we use to talk about the world. I was thinking about this today uh, in preparation for our talk, which I should, we can write down here again, which is, um, you know, uh, Brad's making Brad's making me work. He, I we only started talking a few minutes ago, and I've already had to make three notes and write two posts to keep track of the stuff he's saying. Jeez, Brad, you know you got you're gonna you, you're gonna cook this stuff up offline. Now I'm I'm racing I'm racing um, Francis. You're, oh, is that what? It is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a competition with him too. It's just like I have to divide my time between the other guys and who I'm out competing. <laughs> and um um uh cognition so uh what was i just saying um embodiment right so it was embodiment and i was uh, listening to chomsky uh talk earlier in an interview with uh, kurt jaimungle who's a uh you know he's physicist and movie maker or something and he was and he's nice because he's canadian mm -hmm. and he's uh, i think he's of indian extract hindustani extraction and he's talking about um, about this this uh, what I view as I started thinking. Well, we actually do know how the world is constructed, and he kept referring to philosophers and all the thing. And I'm like, we we know how the brain works now. I mean, uh, I don't I don't even think it's miraculous. And the and the what we're learning is the uh, as we uh, we talked about in our talks or our last conversation. I'm going to try to think ahead a little bit more and try to not uh, pause so often. In our conversations this weekend, we tried to explain a little bit how uh, there's this continuity between the physical world and the, and the material, and that when we get to the evidence of the LLMs that are being used today, and we're using LLMs to brute force backwards from language into conceptual concept formation, and that as we're doing this, we're learning about attention, you know, layers, which is just, yep. which is a hierarchy, um, disambiguation, uh, right, that. Then we're learning about uh, um, uh, prediction. Then we're learning about attention. Then once we got attention, we got competition. And then we get recursion. And eventually we have to get to testing, right? Which is, can this actually operationally be done? And then we get to the point where we say, well, this is great, but this competition is between multiple hypotheses. So, and that one of the things I brought up a long time ago is that, um, which is, seems to be, they seem to be, philosophers seem to be very confused about, and which is that uh, they, what we call, um, uh, what we call, uh, what do you call it? When uh, the hallucination, we call yep. it hallucination, it's just imagination. And so you need to have hallucination in order to be able to come up with new ideas. Yeah. And so we don't want to eliminate uh, hallucination. We want to uh, produce a range of hallucinations that are closer and closer to what's operationally functionally possible. So we don't want it. So what I was saying is we know how we, we know what how everything works now. We mean we, we know how this works. And so uh, there is no magic there. 
there's no hiding behind it. Like there's people who hide away from the IQ question, right? We yeah. know there's people hide away from the race problem. We we know there's people that hide away from the IQ problem. We know there's probably, probably people that hide away from the sex difference is in IQ and the sex difference is in, in uh, cognition, right? And the resulting sex we So we know all this stuff, right? And we actually know how the brain works because honestly, it's really simple. There's just shitloads of it. Right? Mm -hmm. And if we look at the computing power it's taking to simulate the brain, right? It turns out, holy crap, it takes a lot of computing power in the in the real world to equal the computing power that's made possible by our little X volt system up, you know, X watt system up here, which is, you know, basically a 20 watt light bulb or something. And you're thinking, wow, I mean, I think the human a human can get up to burning like 12, 1200 calories and like if you're a dead weightlifter, right? It put everything you got into it, you can burn like 1200, 1200 watts, right? But for how long? Like right. for a couple of seconds and then you're done, right? I mean, it's over with. So we generally clock along here to, with this thing that's capable of being a 100 watt light bulb once in a while, but basically runs around in a few watts. And we finally got a computer, thank you, Apple, that can run around at five watts, right? But I mean, if you want to build, you want to build um, smart machines using the current technology, we need to build power plants in terawatts, you know, in order to supply them. So it's not, it's not trivial. So anyway, so we're working on, um, we've been working on uh, embodiment, and we worked through intelligence this weekend. Yes. And when we got to um intelligence we went into we went you let me <laughs> go into more detail than necessary and then we decided to cut out that de detail right because we're simply trying to sh say the mechanics of how it works we don't want to get into behavioral variation here we want to save that for behavior is that that's right the great thing because all we're trying to get to is that uh, embodiment is close to what we call vitruvianism which is all things to man are measure measurements by man. Yes. Everything everything we measure has to be reduced to something we can perceive, which is an analogy to experience. So we're sort of the yardstick by which we perceive the world. Right. So go ahead. Yeah. Right. Right. So I was a little. I'm a little frustrated with all this nonsense out there is and I was listening to Chomsky and I'm like dude you know I'm one of your disciples on the linguistic thing right I mean and you're you're, you're making this stuff this nonsense up and I'm like look look uh the brain has it re uses the body as a system of measurement to reduce it to that which is actionable yes the language is a further reduction of what's mentally conceivable and mathematics is just a language of ultimate reduction of not, uh, so, excuse me, uh, operations are a reduction to causal sequence, which was discreteness. And mathematics is a reduction to um, continuousness, right? Those things that continue over long periods of time. So, but I mean, when you say that, when people say we're not living, I mean, we're just a freaking measurement machine and our measurements turn out to be hella accurate. Now, does that mean because we have to invent ideas, we're not going to hallucinate? No, I mean, hallucination is important. It's, it's what we mean by ideation or creativity or imagination or prediction or possibilities, right? So we need those. We need hallucination there. So it's the, the, I, I can't quite, get, because I've been doing this so long, it's part of a, I think something I tried to write about earlier today. I actually can't think anymore except like a Popperian, like a Doolittleian or a Popperian, where it's all falsificationary, right? So this idea that that's still out there, and, and I, that's when I get sort of caught, like, how could you even think that? It's because this idea of justification, mm -hmm. that you can know something concretely, rather than we gradually move toward a concrete knowledge. In other words, and everything rearranges as we do that, right? As we approach what we do, which is first principles. <laughs> and so we're trying to get to, and we have largely, the first principles, so we can discuss those first principles, 
so that we can show how we can operationally construct what's testifiable and not. All right. So am I, have I made my point, do you think? I think so. I think so. All right. So now what I want to do is share the screen Ooh. and talk about uh, what we've got, what we have remaining in intelligence and see what we should do with what we've got here. I okay. think because I started working on it, it should be uh, obvious, but I want to have the gr the great and powerful Oz from behind the Arizona gray curtain flanked mm -hmm. by his flags of the manners, right? Uh, love you, brother. Um, all right. Um, screen, Zoom. Share screen. We want to share two. Huh? We want to share two screens. Made a glorious sound. But I'm waiting to see the sharing. Uh, I'm gonna, premature. I'm going to. I'm going to. I think it's got it wrong way here. There's one. Okay. They do have it backwards. And then what do I use? Shift. I don't think that's what's on my screen. There we go. What do you see? Not yet. Intelligence, AI, relative to one another. Yay! It worked. And why did my screen go away over there? I have no idea. I'm going to turn you off and see what happens. There we go. Why don't we just minimize that and not have the distraction altogether? Whoa. What happened? Something wiped across the screen. That was, a, that was me minimizing a browser. I see. And Matt couldn't try and, couldn't, and that's all it was. Now I have the full experience of Brad right next to me. All right. Um, I'm over here. If we look over here, and I assume you see intelligence. I do. Okay. So <clears throat> we started with, um, we went through the process, right? Processing. Yes. How we, and then we did the processing. We're going to go back and look at that again, but we want to finish this path through it. So we described it as the rate of cognitive adaptation and the capacity achieves the same goals. So this is like um, uh, uh, adaptability and breadth, uh, breadth and yes. breadth and depth, right? More like both, yeah. Okay, and therefore intelligence is the rate of cognitive adaptation, et cetera. So then we said, okay, but what's the, we want to separate uh, biological intelligence from demonstrated intelligence, right? Yes. So we say, what is, it's genetics, integration, um, uh, integration. Wait a minute, did I make some of this? Success, developmental success of the brain during and post utero, mm -hmm. the bond, the size and volume of the brain, degree of gray matter regions by white matter. Yeah. Bias, the lateral feminine versus longitudinal, and the resources, the cerebral surprise. All right, this is the yeah. right. right. And so therefore we have quality and quantity of information Speed, bandwidth, and breadth of traversal. This is all electronics. Yes, well, it's because it's what's going on. But, but I'm 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 just making note of it because it's like uh, I saw I see references that um, are amplitude and values that are valences, like uh, voltages. Yeah, I was trying to keep it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm well, no, because we talked about this this weekend. I mean, we here, where is it? Same as water and electricity. Yes. If, if it satisfies the three, right? How the yes. brain information, information, uh, uh, electricity and water, we essentially have the three, uh, the three and uh, three points make a line. So we have that generalization. If okay. I failed at that generalization, uh, I hope you'll. Uh, I will make a note. Now I will. I will we'll spot it, it and help me with it. All yes. Right. All right. 
So we have quantity and quality of information, right? Speed, uh, which is the reactivity of it. Bandwidth. I'm not sure this is the best word because it's we do react, we do measure it by response time. Yes. Right? That's how we measure it. Uh, this is the reactive reactive capacity volume, right? No, I already did that though, capacity. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this is, that's two kinds of, this would be analogous to velocity. No, there's no one, I can't make another one. And the breadth of the traversal, which is the volume, right? The the volume of react, yeah. Reactive okay. volume, reactive capacity, reactive volume. Yes. Right. Okay, that's right. Um, uh, can I, can you mind if I ask the AI to help me with this? No. In this side, in this passage, come on, dear. What is your problem? God damn it! Let me ask it just this. In this. In this text, written. Oh wait a minute! I got to ask the other one. You can't ask. That's the wrong one, huh? It just depends on what you're asking. ChatGPT is just better at at certain things, and you just you know, okay. I'm asking this. In the following text, text written in the style philosopher and oh. social scientist Kurt Doolittle. Um, please, please, uh, test the meaning of the three bullet points, speed, bandwidth, and breadth reversal and if necessary um, uh, suggest any possible clarifications and we are trying to maintain the generalization of inf uh, 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 information transport a uh, chemical reaction, electrical charge, and uh, fluid uh, dynamics. Dynamics. And we are concerned this description may be insufficient. Be disambiguous for our purposes. Okay, trying to mean, trying to mean, to a clarifications, uh, generalization. Why should? Why can't I spell generalization? It is an interesting question. Dynamics, and we are concerned to insufficiently disambiguous. That looks right to me. Disambiguous. Yes, it is. The philosopher and social scientist, Kurtuidal. Why don't you know my fucking name? Oh, you do. That has to be capitalized for our purposes here. Text.
I don't understand. Like that, why didn't that take so so much longer? It's just it's the week. I I guess. No, I, Oh, that's too much. Yeah, you're asking too much. It, but it understood, right? Good. Um, Go ahead. I'm thinking of it in a in most simple sense, okay? Yeah. Intelligence. Is a measure of power. The power of the system is measured by its amplitude by the differences that it's able to compute. So It's a power function. Yeah, it's power of the environment. Internal environment, environment is the brain. Well, you got both. You got both. Okay, yes, go ahead. It's go accessing ahead. a volume of gray matter, which mm -hmm. contains information. And it's and there's resistance, right? In the wires. Change in the environment or in the um, information, right? Right, because it doesn't matter if you're so slow that you've missed every opportunity. Yes. So let's uh, get two things to solve for. Let's just review this. Um, okay. How... I like that. How fast an individual can react to new information or change? 
Yes. Right. Bandwidth. The capacity to process multiple people, yes. That's correct. Yeah, right there. That's it. We'll go do and pick you'll do your grammar spelling check on me there. I don't mean that. You explained this better. How so? You said something about accessing more. It's it's um more information. I mean, in context, I guess that would be the right. Information, association, information, uh, association, context, and domains. That would be all right. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put a colon preceding yeah. that. Yeah. That? Yes. So should we say what it does? Have we already said gray matter? I think we did before this. There. That was in that section with right above. Yeah, but do we have to say it here? I think it's all, it's. In other words, do we have to restate Gray, gray, white, gray, white, gray, white here or not? No, you just said it. Yeah, all right. Returned. Yeah, that's okay. I feel like this isn't clear enough. What's that? I feel like this isn't clear enough. You read this together. Large product produced by genetics. No, 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 no. Generation. I just don't feel like there's something good. about overloading in here, right? There's a limit function, right? These kind of, there's a there's a limit function that we're talking about here, which is is the via negativa of this process. And it's like uh, there's an all the forms of overloading fit inside there. Oh, I see. Because it's like there's a problem. If if you you're processing too much information and it overloads you, you can't. You're 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 stunned, and you're not able to uh, demonstrate functionality. Yeah. 
three bears. Um, yeah, we keep running into three bears problems. Yep. <clears throat> is this this goes under here doesn't it yes that's a quantity thing right Yes. I think that the um, limits might be listed at the end. I don't think it comes after this or this. I do think it goes at the end of this. Okay. Okay. We're forgetting one. Let <clears throat> me just do this. Doesn't work. How wide is the pipe? That's that's how wide is the pipe? That's voltage. How uh, much pressure is it under? At the pipe bridge. And this is area. Volume. Yes. Well, I'm just leaving that in there to think about it because it's, yeah. it's not sitting with me yet. Right. How big is the pipe? How much pressure is under? How big is the network? How many? Networks do I have to feed? Oh. 
Oh. Yep. Which is, um, noise and resistance so we'll talk about this talk about uh, lower limit ambiguous yep because noise and Upper limit ambiguity cause of over. Well, how do we say this? Flooding. Yeah. I try to explain this. I remember uh, when I first learned enough about autism to be able to explain it to my wife saying, This is what happens to men when um, women dump too much emotion on us. We just go flat. Uh, we go. We turn into flat effect. Yes. Uh, so because we've been overloaded, which they can't comprehend at all. Whereas they just freak out and cry. We just go. There's nothing happening here. I don't feel anything. <laughs> this doesn't work for me. This is. Not, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't feel anything. I'm not sure I'm thinking anything. <laughs> I want you to highlight the parts that you want to go back to so that you can find them easy. Let's do a lot of it here. At least, I, but I feel better about. God damn it! I was clicked the wrong one. Um, Bad programming. Now, well, it's this is characters, right? This is about right. characters, yes. and this is about uh, uh, sections. Yes. <clears throat> In most diet. Most apps, it says format, then one, then the other. I don't know okay. why they couldn't do it that way, but this in the, in this software, this thing's managed. Set, we, we have control over this, but not this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that was bothering me. Like, what's bothering me? That's not right. You feel better now? I, I I wanted to say something. My mother, my I would say, uh, my mother would be sarcastic and say, "You want me to kiss it, make it all better?" <laughs> Way of emasculating me. <laughs> she was a hoot. A woman who knows to be a smart ass is is a beautiful thing. <laughs> So you're saying you you're saying you came by it honestly, then, eh? I think I actually think it's it's a New England thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean it's just it's part of. It's like the English has a million, like the twenty-seven words and for smell yeah. Eskimo, which isn't true, but it's a it's a it carries meaning. Do you know how many ways there's 
to call a person stupid in English. I mean, it's just like <laughs> there's a million ways. I mean, it's infinite. And part of that game there is there. It's sort of like the the one I compared to is the Russian, where you're, always, you're you're basically not calling people stupid. You're calling them drunk, right? It's the same kind of thing, right? But yes. the person's the person's not stupid, but or foolish or easily tricked. And it's the same thing with uh, puzzles and riddles and all this all this English method of trying to teach you not to be tricked. Right, there's this huge, huge body of parables, legends, whatever that are said. Don't be tricked. Which I want to say the enemy suppresses, by the way, intentionally suppresses. But uh, the whole thing of and it's the same thing with trash talking, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you're not trash talking because you mean it, right? You're you're trash talking because it's false, and you're, you're teasing your friends, right? I mean, you know, so. It's just part of that that game of of trust trust development in all these ways, so that when you can you do need to say something true and uncomfortable, it's possible, right? So it's a sort of desensitization desensitization yes. program. So it's a it's an anti overloading function. Yes, yes, yes. Very smart. Thank you for all you do, Brad. You are this is... <laughs> it's just I just work here. I don't know. Well, what I else. just work here too, but you know. <laughs> it's just funny. This doesn't get it right, but at least it helps me think. Right. I like that summary. Yeah, let's take that. That's very nice. I don't like perspective, this framing. Yes. By framing. Which is what we want to get. Ergo or supply in this. And reframes. I would say within a supply and demand um, marketplace for action, right? Yes, within a market for action. Thank you. Draw it out. Beyond me. Beyond oh, me. Facility size. Uh, Minus genetic load. 
Right. I have to put minus there. Like that better. Better. Oh, it's reaction time, okay. Where is G? Ooh. G, I don't, uh, can't state G here. We can only measure generate, okay, that's why. We can only measure jet demonstrated intelligence. Right. I don't want to measure right here. Okay. Could you give me a little moment here to ask our friend? Yeah. Save me some time here. Yes. Brad, what am I going to do? About what? I'm going to get a chuckle. I mean, I, I, I might have to fight with the editor. I, I saw that, and I um, it made me chuckle immediately uh, upon seeing it for the second time. I might have to. I might have to argue with the editor on that one. Because I mean, come on, please. <laughs> I'm going to lose thirty percent of book sales because of your your stubbornness on this. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't think one phrase could lose any significant fragment. If you put a formula in, it does. It loses it. We won't do that then. No formulas. The formulas we use are, are this is OK. Yes. It's when you use uh, notation that it's the problem. Mathematical notation. Well, you know, any kind, lot, any notation. Uh oh. Well, I mean, you, formal logic is L, L. You know, you, you. Yeah, you know. yeah. Integrations and. I'm like, okay, you know, when, once you realize uh, operationalism, you, you realize this is a waste of my time. Well, it's all gra all grammar checking. Um. Okay, in the following text. Text, written in the. Please suggest all suggest text where all Huh. 
<laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Thought it'd be interesting. I think so. I've tried this a couple of times. Yes. Huh. Oh, oh, I like that. That's just great. It invented that part. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. That looks done. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did you have one for shit you stupid shit you believe? I haven't <laughs> hasn't gotten there yet. <laughs> where's, where's false wants and beliefs? I don't think it's there yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh my God. <laughs> Jesus that was fucking fun I'm sorry that was fun yeah that was one okay so where's regulation Regulation. Okay. I swear to God. These aren't going to be right, by the way. They're not going to be right. They're going to be... No. The ability to direct cognitive processing. Okay. okay. Well, I guess we got that one, right? Yep. <clears throat> I was trying to think of how this is going to affect writing because as far as I can tell, what it's going to do is going to reduce. It's going to turn, you're going to have to do videos for everything now. Why is that? Because the anybody can write anything. I mean, it's just it's just like you you're gonna have to do a performance act to write a lot of stuff now, because that's gonna be the test of production, not the test. I mean, you have to read a lot of text, you know? so it's like the book versus cover thing. You understand what I'm yes. trying? I'm trying not to lose track of what I'm thinking about. Okay. It's going to get all these wrong, but they're going to be interesting. Limit. It's still easier to fix something that's something that's something than to come up out of. I'm going to put this in here first. No. Okay, so we gotta fix this. These are both wrong. Should we introduce hallucination here? Say it again. Should we introduce hallucination here? I like that we're using hallucination for false association and conclusion and AI. I just like that 
Is that that's a great term? Yes. And I'm just wondering. Uh, um. Yeah, I think so because it's like uh, I talked about it. Something above there was talking in in a term that may fit that as well, which is. Um, False association is is um, yeah. The first two. What do you talk about when it's when when what is the mean? What is a good term for describing the effect insufficient nation necessary for the mind to A, understand, B, it's ignorance. Yeah, wait a minute, no. Uh, form an idea, idea, C. Narrow. Yeah, I understand that. So, so that is a description of the problem, but not of the not of the external. But not of the internal well yeah what underloading So that I would, I think I might put underneath the limits, right? Yep. Uh, underloading and overloading. Bullet point.
What's your problem? Oh, it's not a problem. Okay. Okay, using suggest definition for unwealth. Underloading the normal No, sorry. What? Oh, I hit the. I didn't. I thought I anyway. I hit the uh, stop button. Hmm. I don't like it, but it's close. Sufficiently. You might want to relate that to the um, the work we did above, which relates to the uh, volume, breadth, and depth. Okay. Very smart. Finish this and we'll go back to it. Yes. Ambiguity as noise. I don't want to say current. <laughs> we should do results. Should do a result here. Yes. There's the failure.
I put a hyphen in there, why not? Not right there. I hate doing it because I feel like if you're gonna we're gonna do overloading, we can we're right, we're we're licensed to do the word over underloading. Yes. I would say um instead of fail due to a lack, uh, I would just write insufficient due due to insufficiency of Associative insufficiency. I don't want to do that. This is right. Okay. Thank you. Lots of things can happen here. It's right. ignorant, error, bias, and deceit. Wow, you got. Well, let's get to threes. Okay. So behaviors. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you want to do that? What are things that happen? Indecision. I'm just going to put down ideas here. We can figure it. We can decide it's wrong. Yes. Right. What is a rumination, right? Uh, right. Uh, we have. Uh... Well, rumination is a good one. It's um like uh something like that. This is the spectrum, right? I don't know if the seat goes in there. The seat does not go in there yet. Yep. It's like superstition, right? Not even sure. What's that? I'm not even sure that goes where. What's the difference with that? Those are it's the same. I think it's the same. It's all the same. So you could you could um, get rid of the comma and put hallucination in, or you could put hallucination in first, and then as parenthetical error. It's even better because it matches what they're saying in the AI world. Yeah. Nation. That's good. You know, should we just put indecision? Yeah. Then you, know, can... you sure. could put freeze flight. Let's do that one. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Now I'm happy. Yep. Hold these.
And then we put this. <clears throat> let's ask it, let's say, okay, now we're going to do this. That'll be fun. How did I write this last time? Wish I could say that, get it to do the same thing again. I see using the same, same logic. Okay, using the same, using the same logic. Uh, text, text the. No, suggest text for following the text summary. It's just it's just as X summarizing. Of content, of content. It'll be confusing. That's pretty nice. Okay. Pardon me. You gotta do it to some? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just it's harder hanging with you um after I did a full day's work than after I did a half day um or less than a half day on my um online work only. It's like sorry, brother, if it's it's hard on you, I so totally understand. If you wanna <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm just I'm just good. Okay. I'm uh I'm extremely appreciative. And even if it's even if you don't do much, it's we're getting work done. We're getting work done. <laughs> do you like that um that it just produced? It's uh it's I, I'm gonna ask it to this. Can you can you restate that answer in Yes. With Kurt Doolittle's usual <laughs> arsimony causality and Latin absence of fluff. 
I, I do enjoy watching you interact with the uh, AI to uh, generate useful text. It's informative. It's not that different from talking to children. <laughs> Did you? I, I I like that somebody said that today. They tell it to me in the in the manner of a uh, that you would explain it to a five year old. <laughs> I thought that was an interesting experiment. You know what I mean? Well, I've I've posted some of those before. Explain, expl I write some things. Explain this to a first year college student. Explain yeah. it to a teenager. Explain it to a five year old. And uh, the information loss is horrific. <laughs> really? Yeah, but you go. It's 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 it's. Does it? The... It works. Yes. No, the issue is it because it's like a five year old's not going to need anything like what we're producing. That's here. right. And does it can maintain the uh, appropriate uh, orientation, metaphysical orientation? Yes, it's just physics. Yeah. Um, that was good. Now, when I, one time, sometimes when I do this, I put this on it. I'm happy with this. I'd have to touch this up a little bit, but I'm happy with it. But people say you should use this. What do you uh, Well, I'm not a good judge, right? Um, it seems really wordy to me. Uh, its answers yeah. seem really wordy to me. Um, these processes obey the obey laws of physics, like inner and other actual just the water flow, right? I don't think this is, does that necessary? Now, a lot of people would say yes. Here's what, here's what my take on it is this, is, 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 I look at it like um, you're writing it, okay, for an audience. You're not writing it for you. I agree. And so I think that probably Which is I why I love working with you because working writing it for me has not usually been successful. <laughs> so I think leaving it leaving it with the the more uh, less parsimonious the less parsimonious version is probably the correct answer because it's like you've added it's the parsimony um, distills it perhaps beyond the range of the reader's capacity to extract the information. So when, so here's, here's what I was, let's, let's make a thought piece here. Okay. So what I thought was let's get it down and then let's go make it readable. What you're saying is we should use this readability format. So I, I want to do the math first and then collect, connect it. But what I you're see. saying is that connecting it is what makes people understand it. You, you're, you're, what you do when you make it more parsimonious is you underload them. Yes. And so when you when you have the the, the extra fluffy stuff in there, which is it's not very fluffy, no. but it's it's a little bit fluffy and it makes it digestible. Because it's not underloading me, it's providing additional contextual associations that I can make use of. I'm, if we can do this, I would rather, okay, let me try it again. I have to think like this. Yeah, so I understand. Right, because um, it's it's basically math to me, right? Yes, yes. Right? But I do like these things. Yeah, they're very good because right? it I provides a sandwich, it. right? Yeah. It provides yeah. us the fluffy thing that I can get a handle on and not have to get my fingers all in the juices of the, the so of the subject. So am I? So you're. This is one of those things. When we started out in the pamphlet. I saw it as this kind of statement. Right. 
But so, and so, uh, if I go to the Constitution, okay. there is, there is, this is, this is in narrative, explanatory form. Yes. It's quite dense, but it's an explanatory form. Yes. Right. I felt like when we were doing, where are the sources? Where are the sources? This is not. No. Wait a second. I thought I had them open here. There they are. There it is. It's not like I don't like I don't have a lot of stuff, Brad. I know. So I thought we were aiming for this. Now what do you think? I think. That's great. That's great for a poster. Yes. It's not great for what we're trying to accomplish. I mean, I can reduce it to all to that, right? Yes. Right? Because because we've uh, we've uh, the thing is that the when we're talking about these things, which is this, epistemology get into something people I mean, this is all this is all higher level processing. Yeah, yes, what it requires a under uh, a certain foundation right. in, in associations that have already been made. Yes. And what we're trying to do is create the pamphlet is to generate those associations. Right. In the audience that is not prepared. So that a naive person can come in there with a, and come out with a, a sufficient foundation to get to this state. Yes. Well, as long as we're you didn't do it here. See, we did a pretty good job here. Where are we now? We're here. This is good. These are good. This is good. Now we get into stuff that needs a little more explanation. Well, it's it's increasingly abstract. Well, so we can just vary it by. We will call it ad hoc methodology. Now, this just requires more fucking explanation. That's two. And, and it's like, really, it's not a huge amount of explanation that you're providing here. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very brief summary for what you're explaining. Right. What are we really trying to get to? Uh, 
I don't know. It's fucking beautiful. Very I don't nice. I mean, I can, I'm reading it. I'm like, well, I don't, that. <laughs> You're not going to fight with that. I'm not going like to fight with that. It takes the reader 30 seconds extra to go through the, what you just Yeah, but did. it's so much clearer. Right. I mean, why is this? You know why? It's because this generalization problem. Oh, I see. Weird because, I'm sorry. Yeah, because um, I know what, you know, I forget what I'm trying to do sometimes. And the subconsciously what I'm trying to do is I have to falsify false claims of intelligence. Okay. Right. And so I, in other words, uh, I love this, this framing to achieve specific goals as supply and demand within a market. I mean, this is beautiful shit, right? Yes. Um, and then we get down into this and we say, and ultimately it's all governed by the same basic principles it's just physics that's what we want people to understand can we make them understand it without doing that i don't think so i don't think so and this just like makes it this just makes it very easy to grasp okay all right can we keep going now okay are you tired Please, Not you got to tell me when you're done. I don't. I will. I will, I will flag out. I will. Because I mean, it's out I, if it I feel guilty as fuck already. Oh my! No, 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 no. Okay. No. So if I, if I, uh, if you stick with me, and I feel like I've overdone you, it it, it ruins my. Oh no! I don't. I'll, I'll tap out before I get over toasted. Okay. It, so it does work. If I want to work with you in the evening, I just can't work too much in the morning. Okay. Is this sort of the same thing as you, right? If I, I work, on, if I work on this all day, and then I come sit with you, I get my, I'm done. Sort of I like, understand. Sort of how like you sort of felt yesterday, or was it, what day was it? Yesterday, you were a little fried. Yes, it was yesterday. It was okay. I took your time and visited with the judge and his horses. Yes, and that Brad, was. Nice. I, I like to think I'm a workaholic, but Brad, you know, Brad, Brad's just bad. Brad's just as bad. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> It's just um, love, brother. I know. Uh, okay. What is dem? Okay, so how do I use demonstrated intelligence? Intelligence. What a very bizarre. It's a peculiar construct. Demonstrated intelligence. That's as opposed to demonstrates ignorance or something like that, right? Oh, have I labeled it out here? I have. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, so this is the problem. Okay, so we talked about biological intelligence. Right. Now we're talking about demonstrated intelligence. Okay, let's do this. Very brief. Very brief. Please, please provide, continue. Uh, how do I say it? Continuing with, well, how did I say it? Using the same logic. That's interesting. Did that just do that? No, you just put it in there. I don't know what that is. Given the following cask. Following text. And using the same logic.
Great, thank you. Hmm. So they do G. I do it this way. Yes. Some stuff that's got to come out of here. Yeah. That would consist of, yep. There's actually a question. I, you're correct, by the way. Oh, uh, Grant. Because uh, there's there's a framework we use consists in and consists of. Where to use conditions on uh, how to use the phrase consists of versus consists in. Should be obvious. And it is for some reason it's not coming to me. Huh. Yeah. When you want to list parts, when you are defining the essence of fundamental qualities or something. Hmm. Hmm. Dear students, lessons, grammar lessons of the day. All I know is my intuition pops up and says, this consists in right now. And I'm like, is it, uh, what, what, what? You know, it's not, uh -huh. I don't, random number generator. All right. Um, so I think they're, okay, I'm gonna let you fix this bit. There's a um, suggestion for you. Please. When you're ready. 
Um, before we even begin the, the whole discussion with the two points, one and two, biological and demonstrated intelligence. Do we have an introduction there that says we've got these two things that is kind of like the precursor? Yeah, didn't we? Did I just forget to use this? Right. So we are because we're on we're in a section that I would call intelligence. Yes. Right. Okay. Wait, wait, let's look at the beginning part there, that first part. Uh, okay. And so I, I think we should mention that there are, we're going to mention two points. It goes, yeah, it goes right here. Yes. And then just give a little, uh, like that little in essence paragraph at the end there. As it, that looks to me I'll, like. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. Yeah, it's too difficult. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, technically, I should indent this. Yeah. And that doesn't need to be a, it needs to be one of those now. going to indent the rest yeah yeah so how did i need to break this up do i have to break it up into biological intelligence that's a summary of biological intelligence. Why is the intendant wrong? Because you haven't indented that one yet. Okay, so.
Okay, let me just make sure I'm not, I'm, for some reason, I feel profoundly stupid. Where's, uh, this one goes to here, right? Yeah. That's why. Nice. Oh, is that right? That's right. Where's two? It's right below. There it is. Now this one goes in, right? Yes. If I follow this one up, that goes, see, it's, oh, this one's in too far. Fuck. There you go. Jesus. Why do I feel like a moron today? There we go. That's the answer. Do we need a summary of this? Um, We don't have a summary. Demonstrated intelligence. Just physics. Well, I'm going to have to. Well, we didn't finish all that, right? We didn't finish all this. Right. You haven't added in all the little bits that you created a minute ago. That's it. That's where you're at. You're, you're to idiosyncratic experience. Because I think you added those other ones in there already. No, you did not. My apologies. Yes. Oh, what's the problem here? Don't tell me you're not in there, because I know you are. Oh, Christ. Oh, it's only going to tell me here. So why wasn't it pulling it up? I don't know. Brad, 
Yes, sir. You know, that's today or last month. Well, that's what we're working on. So it's not. That's what I figured it was. So what? Where? Why is it not searching? It is searching? I don't know where it is then. All right. So up in the books. So wait, is it maybe here? Frustration. Where is it? Frustration. What is that? That is a thought. may not be right. Okay, so here's what it is. This is over time. Oh, very nice. And this is in time. Yes. So um, let's switch them then. Okay. So, you know, when Mo, when Amanda was so beautiful at this, she would say, it makes me tired. <laughs> I grow weary. So, uh, so what this means is uh, there's a very predictable curve of how quickly people become frustrated. Okay. Now, like me, I, I I can stay, as you know, work on something for hours, right? Right, and that's that's a discipline you develop over time. But that's some right. people just have persistence, right? We have a natural uh, tolerance for persistence, and other people they get if they can't think of it relatively quickly, in five minutes, twenty five minutes, or forty minutes, they give up. They, they give up. Uh, and so, uh, so how do I talk about that here? Right, emotional strain without, without it's really without giving up. Yes. That's all I got to say, right? Yes. You know, fix the punctuation on end time, please. Yes. There's a colon there and a parentheses that need to be switched. I didn't even see it. Goodness. Uh, why don't I ask you for this? Who's best to ask? You're really good. You can ask this fucking thing amazing shit. This uh, perplexity is amazing. Um, uh what what are what are oh my why is this not pro Oh, it already is. Uh, what well, is the max approximate list of average time that humans can tolerate frustration? Uh, this is usually in a distribution of something like, like X minutes, 25 minutes, or 50 minutes or they are too frustrated give up their some relationship between IQ and personality traits but I'm just looking to confirm the approximate time frames or the rough formula for it. Uh, 
Frustration tolerance, yep. Yeah, no, it doesn't, it can't figure it out. So the thing I didn't get there, duration and attempts. Yes. Attempts is overtime. Yeah, the the difference is when you say someone's conscientious, that 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 that's um uh that can be a goal related thing as well, whereas frustration tolerance it's the it's not very long. Uh, right. Let me just see if this one. This is nineteen. I remember reading this when it came out. Five minute tasks. Yeah, it's fucking hard on people. Yeah. It's really predictive. It's like IQ. Yes. Why, given this example of frustration tolerance, and given this this textual description, frustration, R A T R A T I O N tolerance, in this textual description of frustration, what would the the equivalent me for trait. Nice. Did I just do something stupid? That looks 435 lines. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you. Should I get these? Maybe too much detail. I think it's too much detail, yeah. That's for the science. Yeah.
What's patience? What is the relationship? And and uh, frustration, tell us. Mm. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if patience needs to be in here. This this is this is as important as IQ. Okay. This is not the same. What's interesting is emotional modulation. Okay, let's... <laughs> it's an overloading issue. It's a measure of the... Um, it's a measure of the um, load capacity. It's an emotional load capacity measurement. No, I say above logic. Huh? I say this somehow. The same logic. Use the same logic. Um, how did you just say it, Brad? Because there's some there's a gem in there. An emotional load capacity function. Hmm. Wow. What? Oh, I thought it just went fast. I was like, it just, no, no, it just, I was like, whoa, it did something fun. Well, they're all part of they're all part of conscientiousness. So what do you how to explain?
I was missing. What's that? I was missing executive function in working memory. It's kind of beautiful. Hmm. You have working memory up there. Can't tell how long we've been on here, and I'm trying to make sure you're okay. Uh -huh. My eyes are starting to. I'm pushing it. My eyes are starting to go. Um, I would say that I'd like to cut it here and come okay. back. So we got this right now, and we've got it clear. And I want to put that together. So we'll either do that uh, Saturday morning or at any other time you feel that you want to make available. Um, okay. I would call today's experiment a success. It was a good success. It was a big success. Uh, though I get, I, I really don't want to, uh, I don't want to be part of what I view as stressing your, yeah. or I am, my my system is 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 envelope is 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 pushed and it's okay. Yeah. It's just yeah. like okay, what does that mean? I'm processing it and I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe we should accompany these with whiskey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't I know. There's a rate of flow of the whiskey. That's it. It's, it's, duration. It's, it's, there's some. It's a, that's a, that's heavy alcohy though, perfect, man. Perfect balance. <laughs> <laughs> so, some, some it can be dangerous. <laughs> no, wait. Before you do anything, hit hit update. Wait a minute. Oh, hit update. Okay. Yeah, that would be bad. Now I feel safe again. Zoom. Share. Here we are. Here we go. Okay. Thank you so much for today. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. I want to. I want to tell everybody that it's their opportunity now to hit like and focus Kurt a little bit. Hey, we gotta we gotta hit the button again. It doesn't seem to. <laughs> there we go. You, you can hit like. You you might feel the urge to hit subscribe, and certainly notifications. Because why would you miss this work? This great work. And then all the comments about how interesting it is to watch Kurt work with the AI. And and it, and 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 make it make wonderful statements. <laughs> it's, like, it's so beautiful. I like, have this wonderful because I do remember a lot, right? But I uh, I can't always access it all quickly, all right? So you go out there and like I know it works about like this, you know, uh, and it's just wonderful. I love having it. Uh, it's not true with all the stuff we do, but for this kind of thing, it's it's certainly wonderful. Anyway, again, thank you, Dr. Brad. I really appreciate everything you do for me. Else. Oh, after you hit stop recording, we can chat for a moment.